You can't hold me back, you can't hold me down Put me in the game, gotta get it right now You can't hold me back, you can't hold me down Put me in the game, gotta get it right now Whoa, on me, you know what I want and on me All them are the ones that's phony what up youtube welcome to my channel i'm anthony tv listen if you are watching for the first time i gotta give you a round of applause man so this is for you <laughs> appreciate you for joining us on this sunday morning listen i don't know if you guys are right now but you guys know if you've been following the channel your boy's from florida man and today it is 42 degrees outside and for us, that's cold. So it's safe to say, no beach today. <laughs> no beach weather, man, 42 degrees. But anyway, I know some of you guys up north laughing at me right now, but hey, again, I'm a Floridian, man. It's cold. Today, man, we're gonna be talking about a company that I haven't covered yet on my channel. And that is FedEx, all right? Particularly, or specifically, I should say, FedEx Freight. So we're going to be talking about a couple different driver positions. That is the city driver position and also what they call road driver position. So we're going to be talking about those two positions. And again, they are hiring in certain areas across the country. So if you're interested in either one of these positions at the end of this video or during this video, definitely take a minute and apply <laughs> all right go ahead and jump on these positions so check this out before we even get into those positions i want to talk about something else that these guys have to offer that other companies out there offer similar uh opportunities but they do have an apprentice program all right it's a driver development program that these guys offer so i want to take a look at that and i also want to look at some of the other career development opportunities these guys have so without further ado man let's go ahead and dive into it first let's go ahead and start with this educational assistance program that these guys have man it says fedex freight provides tuition assistance programs for eligible u.s and canada-based employees enrolled in certain educational courses all right full-time employees are eligible for assistance up to five thousand dollars for undergraduate graduate and doctoral courses per calendar year per employee part-time employees are eligible for assistance up to $2,500 for undergraduate and graduate courses per calendar year per employee all right so that's pretty good now let's go ahead and go down here to the DDC course all right also known as the driver development course all right the driver development course supports FedEx Freight's growth by providing professional driving skills development for eligible employees, eligible driver apprentices, complete a professional truck driver school curriculum while maintaining their current FXF employment. Driver apprentices who will successfully compete, excuse me, complete the DDC will be promoted to a driver position once they have successfully completed all course requirements all right so there you go all right so now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and get to the good stuff let's get to this first driving job opportunity which is the city driver position all right let's go ahead and take a look at it so you guys know how i like to do man i pulled up a random city for this particular position as you can see the star rate of pay for this particular position is 31.59 an hour let's go ahead and go down here to some of the job responsibilities i'm not going to read all of these but we are going to cover some of them number one operate tractor trailer combination including doubles and triples where applicable and or straight trucks perform daily pre-trip and safety inspections hook and unhook trailers and converter dollies to from a tractor or trailer all right perform Freight handling using appropriate motorized and manual equipment including but not limited to fort lift pallet jack and hand truck secure freight inside of trailers using appropriate tools and supplies including but not limited to pallets straps and rope so you guys see these city drivers man i'm pretty sure you probably see them around wherever you live these guys pretty much go to different places and pick up and unload freight for the most part again 
you could check out more details and look at more of the specifics of this particular position just go to the website i got it down below you guys see it scrolling across the bottom of this video that's how you apply for any position that we talk about today all right so that's some of the job duties and responsibilities for this particular position let's go ahead and go to the qualifications all right now some of you guys are going to be very excited about one of these things that may apply to you must possess a class a cdl with double triple hazmat and tank endorsement here it is right here all my guys out there or young ladies with automatic restrictions on your license guess what fedex freight will still give you an opportunity all right it says automatic transmission cdl restriction allowed all right so if you do have that automatic restriction on your license you don't have to shy away from this particular position they will consider you for employment all right must possess one year of experience within most recent three years of successful completion of fedex driver development course all right so let me read that again because i think i messed that up a little bit must possess one year of experience within the most recent three years or successful completion of FedEx freight driver development course. So either or, you either gotta have one year experience or completed the driver development course that they have. Must meet all department of transportation requirements on combination vehicles, LCV, triple trailers, Rocky Mountain doubles and turnpike doubles are operated in certain states. Speaking of that, I seen a guy in Mississippi, man, that was pulling two set of doubles. So basically he had four pup trailers that he was pulling. That was my first time seeing anybody pulling anything more than a set of doubles. This guy was pulling two sets. So I guess that would fall under the LCV, all right? The long combination vehicles. You guys let me know in the comments. That's my first time seeing that. Shout out to him, man. Able to lift, carry, hand freight, weighing up to 100 pounds several times a week and it goes on to say a little bit more so again you guys go ahead and check these qualifications out if you're interested this last one right here is important the hazmat endorsement must be obtained within 120 days of offer acceptance an employee would not be allowed to drive a commercial motor vehicle without this endorsement so you don't have to have the endorsement coming in the door but you do need to get it within 120 days of hire. All right, so that is the city driver position. Let's go ahead and go to the road driver. All right, this particular road driver position is in Mead, Colorado. All right, as you can see here, starting pay rate, 67 cent per mile, plus 29.22 an hour. All right, for non-driving task pay. Let's go ahead and check out this position overview. Pick up and deliver trailers between service centers and or turn point locations via tractor trailers combination. All right, so with this particular position as a road driver, it's essentially what we call a food service, a shuttle driver or a transit driver. I mean, you're basically just doing drop and hook. All right, so uh, between the different uh, terminals. So again, uh, pick up and deliver trailers between service centers and or turn point locations via tractor trailer combinations. Perform daily pre-trip, just like we mentioned on the other position, hook and unhook trailers. Uh, verify and complete required document documentation and reports. Maintain accurate daily laws. Comply with haz hazardous material regulations and procedures. Uh, follow dispatch instructions and communicate with dispatch delays, arrivals, equipment problems, etc. All right, uh, it says may be required to perform chaining of vehicles, tires, you know, depending on where you live. You guys already know, again, you work in a different type of weather conditions. So if you're working in those conditions that require chaining up, there you go, it's a possibility. All right, these guys also say low and unload freight as required. Also, may be required to perform job duties of a city driver or a dock employee where operationally needed or necessary. 
so i think that's very important sometimes these companies will stick these things in there if you think that you're just going to be driving and that's it you may want to reconsider this particular position because it is a possibility that you may have to work the dock and i've actually heard quite a few fedex drivers that have youtube channels talk about working the dock for fedex so that's something that could be an issue for you you may want to reconsider this position because as you can see here they do have it in the job duties let's go ahead and go down here to qualifications for this position obviously you got to have a cdl still one year driving experience and it's pretty much the same as the other position so i'm not going to go through all of these um let's go down here to one that i didn't talk about on the last one ability to hook up and break down sets of trailers that require an average lift force of about 100 pounds and those dollies are heavy all right <laughs> i moved one on our yard and i didn't know how heavy those things were working conditions drive long distances day and night on all types of roads and in all types of weather all right so it's very important that you understand that and we're gonna go down ahead to this last one it says hours may vary due to operational need overnight stays may be required for some schedules all right so again the potential is there for you to have a layover depending on the schedule so you know all these different things man um you know you just got to be aware of and so when you go in and you had an interview and the transportation manager or the terminal manager bring these things up you won't be surprised if you already seen it in the job description all right let's look at this additional information man because i think this is important it's something that i always talk about when i'm talking about these different jobs salary range estimate this particular position says hourly 29 22 between 29 22 and 33 83 all right this compensation range is provided as a reasonable estimate of the current starting salary range for this role factors that may be used to determine your actual salary may include your specific skills your location your location your location all right how many years of experience you have and comparison to other employees already in this role all right so again the compensation your salary can vary depending on all these factors they just mentioned here that's across the board so don't think you're gonna see these actual pay rates and say well look i seen this they were paying this amount of money yours may be different all right that's all i'm saying all right guys so look you guys let me know what you think about these two positions city driver road driver what do you think about their development program let me know in the comments i'm gonna get ready to get out of here man and to the next video remember if you guys get any value from this content hit that for me hit that thumbs up it's free it doesn't cost you anything if you get any value from any piece of content that i post man smash that like button for me like comment subscribe turn on those post notifications do all that good stuff man i'm gonna get ready to get out of here i hope you guys enjoy your day i'm out peace